Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'd actually have planned on going back to my nail section, but Rachel said she liked that I filmed over here. So because it's more comfortable, I'm sitting on a bed, I felt like I could. Um, sometimes the lighting might be a little bit darker than others. I'm trying to uh, try to figure that out, but it is what it is. Today I'm gonna share with you the polishes that I got from the Zoya 70% off sale. I picked up 13 other polishes, which you probably saw if you watched my first vlog video. So I'm gonna share with you swatch photos and I'm gonna tell you what the formulas were like. I'm gonna start off with the pixie dust. The first one I have here is Zoya's NYX. This is like a denim uh, pixie dust. This kind of took me back because the formula is very, very thin. And I mean very thin. It was so sheer on the first coat. It took me four coats to get the opacity that you're seeing in the swatch photo. But I think that if you weren't taking swatch photos or you weren't using such a, I don't know, high definition camera, if you weren't trying to photograph for swatches on the internet, I think you can get away with three. Either way, whether it was a one coater or four coater, I'm keeping it. I love this color. It's very unique to my collection. The next one I got is Zoya's Godiva. This is just a nude pixie dust. Now, I don't know how I feel about this against my skin tone. However, I am doing stamping, which is the reason why I picked this up. And I felt like there would be a way that I can incorporate this into my stamping manis, especially since this adds some textural difference. Now, this one took me three coats. Once again, I think you can probably get away with two coats if you weren't doing a swatch photo. My last pixie dust that I picked up is always London. I picked this up because I'm pretty sure Ali used to rave about this in like late 2016, early 2017. When I got it in the mail, I was a little bit hesitant. I was like, wow, I don't know that that's going to look good on me, but I'm wearing it right now and I love it. This was a two-coater. I mean, this is kind of, this is the pixie dust formula that I'm used to. So it was a two-coat polish. Now I'm going to move on to the creams that I picked up. The first one is Zoya's Kindle. You saw this before because I used it in one of my stamping manis last week. I am so glad I picked this up. This is one that I kept pulling out of my cart, but I would put it back in because I felt like, you know, I probably have something like that in my collection already but I don't and I'm glad that I picked it up because even if I did I don't think it would be a two coater like this is. I picked up a green and the green that I picked up is Zoya's Hunter. This had a thinner formula than Kindle. I was not expecting that and it did require two coats. I do not think, I do not think you can get away with one coat with this one just because the formula was so thin. I had planned on trying to use this as a stamping polish because I think the thickness of Zoya polishes could lend themselves to being stamping polishes, but I don't think that this would be one because the formula is thin, but you can still get it opaque in two coats. I picked up Zoya's Ryan. This is just a really dark blue. I have a thing for dark blues and once again this is another one that I was hoping that I could use for stamping. This one doesn't have as thin of a formula as Hunter but it doesn't have the thick formula that I've kind of expected from Zoya. So this one is kind of up in the air when it comes to stamping, but the formula was good either way. It was opaque in two coats. The last cream that I got is Zoya's Wendy. I talked about how this was kind of the wild card of my entire um, purchase order. But I love this. I, I love this. I don't care if it doesn't look the best on me. I love it. And I was able to get it opaque in two coats. This next one has been on my want list for quite some time. It's probably my, from Zoya, it's probably my longest, my oldest lemming from Zoya. Is that, should I say it like that? That's Zoya's Blue. I've heard so many great things about this. I've heard that it was one coater. Uh, I'm not going to say that it's a one coater. I mean, out of the box, brand new. I'm going to say it's a two coater, but that's so great. That's fantastic, especially since it's such a light powdery blue. Um, I would definitely recommend this. I know somebody said that they had problems with their formula. I didn't have a problem with mine. Mine was pretty darn good. The only shimmer polish that I got, I really don't know where, what category this would fit in, but I picked up Zoe's Leslie. This has a contrasting shimmer in it, or like it looks, it's not as smooth as Beautifully Bizarre, which I sta stated in my vlog video, but the shimmer stands out so well on the nail. Now, when it comes to Orly's Beautifully Bizarre, that's such a soft, delicate shift, and you don't see it in all lightings. Um, at least you can, but it's not as strong as this one. This blew my socks off. I was really not expecting it to be so strong. If you haven't picked this up and you're interested, I'm telling you it's worth it. It was opaque in two coats for me. It was so, so easy to apply. Now we're gonna move on to my last four, which are all scattered hollows. 
The first one I have here is always Aurora. This is just, you know what? It looks like grape jelly purple. That's what it looks like to me. Um, it does have, the, the hollow in here is really strong silver, if that makes sense. Like I feel like the silver in the hollow stands out more than any other Zoya Scattered Hollows. Um, the formula was really good though. I was able to get a pick in two coats. The next one is Zoya's Peyton. Now, when I opened the boxes for Aurora and Peyton, I thought to myself, Jody, what did you do? These look so similar in the bottle, but the good news is they don't look the same on the nail, which I was very relieved about. Um, when it comes to Peyton, I'm gonna say this is more like a berry purple, where this is more of a, where Aurora is more of a cooler tone purple. So if you've been eyeing both of these and you've been wondering whether or not you should get both, I'm gonna say, if you want them both, you should get them because they are totally different polishes. Peyton was just like Aurora, opaque in two coats. The next one is Zoya's Blaze. I feel like this is probably the least talked about Zoya Hollow. Am I wrong? I don't hear too many people talk about this one. Um, I picked this up because Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I kind of wanted to switch things up when it came to my Manny. Uh, this looked more red online than it does in person. It looks more like more of like a pinky red, maybe like a raspberry red on my nail at least. Uh, but either way, the formula was good, opaque in two coats. And the last one is one that I really think has overshadowed Zoya's dream. I really believe that. I feel like dream was like the scattered hollow from Zoya. However, Merida has been making its mark here lately. This is just the green version of the scattered hollows in Zoya's line. And I'm telling you, I think it's worth the hype. I, believe it or not, I think this has actually looked good on me. And I could see myself wearing it again. Once again, this is another polish that I picked up for stamping. Um, but I'm not mad about it. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy with it, which, you know, I, I picked it up thinking, oh, this is gonna be strictly for stamping, but I could see myself using this alone on one of my nails instead of incorporating it in one of my stamping designs. Does that make sense? Anyway, those are all the polishes that I picked up during Zoya's 70% off sale. If you were able to get in on the sale before it ended, because that was just a one day sale and it was kind of a surprise sale. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.